What's up, man? It's your friend, Nate, with Anansi. What's up, man? Something new, something different. I'm doing manga reviews now. You know, I don't want to put myself in a box, right? Anime reactions is cool and all, but you know, you do things like that, you block your blessings because you only know for one thing. And when that one thing falls off, what you got left over? Nothing. You fall off with it. So I'm gonna try something different. Um, I don't think I can. I don't. I don't think I can show y'all the full pages, but uh, for copyright reasons. But I'm. I'm a. I'm gonna figure something out. I'm gonna do my own little thing, remix it in the edit, and then we're gonna see how it turns out. Y'all let me know in the comments whether or not y'all fuck with the vibe, the, the the layout of the video, and then hit me with the critiques, and then we'll move on from there. But as far as I know, reaction to it first, and then review at the end. Same old formula, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So uh, <laughs> let's go ahead and get straight to it. I'll tell you one thing, putting this hoodie on was the dumbest decision I ever made, because it's hot. But it's my Hawks hoodie, bruh. I got it from Soul King, man. Follow him on social medias. I'm gonna put his link in the description below, bruh. He's a cool dude. I don't know him personally, but he's, he just seems like a cool dude. Okay, so we start off with all my hitting the screw screw. You know, I was, <laughs> I was hoping that he was gonna uh, hit his buff on for like two seconds just to tank that, but you know, I like this. I like my mans in the Batmobile. Killing it out here in these streets. Any car besides Hercules would've been blown to bits. Oh, he caused the car Hercules, that's cool. Uh, yo, there's people attacking him. This is a full-on assault, bro. Like, they're they're legit trying to separate him. That's what I'm getting out of this. Next page, they're trying to split up me and the boy. The boy's been targeted by an assassin. Bro, like, they're, like, straight up trying to kill All Might, bro. This might be the night. This might be the night that night I was talking about. That's All Might. Don't whip out. They don't even know who they're attacking, bro. They're just attacking. That's crazy. I went by now. You know what we're here for besides check out his wasted body. Damn. The real All Might died a long time ago. Damn! They do the close-up on his face with the black eyes, man. That hurts. I gotta hurt you. <laughs> Darn right. Oh, I should do voices. I'm not gonna do voices, though. This is like 20 pages. I'm not doing that. Actually, I'm gonna do it. Stand aside. Huh? What? <laughs> I will protect him and raise him right, even if it costs me my life. That All Might got deep voice like that, right? Uh, that boy has borne so much more than I ever have a burden to force on him. Whatever happens to you, I'll be there changing your fate by your side. Oh, that was Deku. Whatever happens to you, I'll be there changing. Whatever, I'm, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. And uh, it's still he idolizing me, right, right, right. Bro, look at this shot, bro. I'm, I'm putting this on the screen. Look at this shot, B. The day anything happens to that kid is the day I die. Mm. Foreshadowing at its finest. So does this mean that All Might is gonna like, Clearly, he's ready to fight here. So, is he gonna have, like have some type of support items? I mean, he has the car. So, does he have other support items that he used like back in the day? What was it like during the Silver Age? That's gonna be fire. And then we switch over to the next page. You know, Deku's still fighting old girl, Lady Nagat. Does that pull her and stay out of her line of sight to prevent her from tracking my trajectory? Smart, smart. Assuming Lady Nagat doesn't have a way to move as fast as I can with one for all, I'll reach her before she can. But she got the air walk though, so all she can do is just float up and then she can just watch you. So that's. But he don't know that though. That's when I'll make her reveal all for one in Sugar Rock's location. I like the fact that Deku is taking this fight to her, brother. My man's just hungry for it. It's gonna get him fucked up, right? Let's be honest, it's gonna get him hurt. But I like the fact that he is like, he's tired of sitting around. Well, actually, now that I think about it, Deku's not always, Deku's never been the one to just sit around because he's been trying to hear, he's been trying to be a hero from the jump, right? So like, this right here, this whole situation with all the heroes retiring, this has only amplified his personality even more. Now that I think about it, huh? Got a little zigzag line, white line coming to him. I'm assuming that's Danger Sense, his newest quirk. Uh, yep, they go to Bullet, straight from behind, and he but he kicks that. Ha! Ah, these shots are so fucking wild, man. And then he dodges another one. Oh, it kind of hit him a little bit. Kind of hit him and grazed him. Ah. But look at his face, man. Look at his face. I love the art style. I love the art style. But how hitting me from behind will only be possible with some kind of remote control quirk. Does she have a backup? No, I don't sense any hostility or bloodlust. That's the danger sense coming in. And that's her L walk coming in, bruh. No way. Damn it. Why didn't I consider that a possibility before? Of course, Awful One will give a contract or something extra. Bruh, she's just, she's just Sanji out here in these streets, man. Sexy as hell, too, bruh. She's so sexy. Even without the color scheme. I know she got the cotton candy hair. I remember that, but... I love her. I think it's a thick. I think it's a thick eyebrows. I think that might be the thing that just like elevates her. Low key, right now she's in my top five. Right now, right now she's in my top five. B. Let's see how. Let's see what other alterations she can make to her body. Huh? 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 Actually, on page nine, Deku got a little bit of paint on his face. We're doing a diagram. That shot that hit me in the back came from the side with a wicked curve. We already know she can curve bullets. The closer we are, the more tools she can shoot and the less need there is for her to further calculate my position. She wants to stop me and catch me alive, right? But after I blocked that shot, she decided to get closer. Being closer means quicker shots in succession. Even the fourth can't... 
I wonder, I wonder if, if the false quirk, uh, I can't talk. I wonder if the false quirk danger sense, like I wonder if it's only weak because Deku is just now learning it or is this like the extent of his powers? Like this, it, it can only do so much. It's not, it's not full on spidey sense, but you know, yeah. even the fourth can't help me react fast enough. So how about we bring out the smoke? Boom, the sixth, the smoke, full blast, bro. Okay, so you got a good handle on that. You got a good handle on the smoke screen. Another quirk, so he's got multiple quirks too. This kid's got secrets for days, right? Right? You now you know what you up against. Your sexy ass, bro. That thick ass eyebrows is getting me. Bro, these shots, bro. Look at that cool face, man. These shots is crazy. Whoa, now, nah, nah, did you forget already? What do you forget? That much smoke output places you at risk. You're against a high speed, long range mobile cannon. What the fuck is that? A, a freaking helicopter? A jet? Military grade? What are you talking about? So the second you emerge from the smoke, you're a sitting duck. You uh, you've cut off your own escape route. Boom! I can just flick. I can just flick. Cause this whole time he's been fighting, he hasn't flicked once. He hasn't done no type of Delaware, no type of Texas smashes, none of that, bro. So just flick and make her think you're going this way. Flick and make her think you're going this way, and, and you can escape. You can, especially you're surrounded by all these brothers, bro. I don't know about that. Uh, what number? What number are you? Six? I don't know about that. Six? I don't know about that. I think he got. I think he got plenty of options. I'm not trying to escape. I'm just buying time for now for who. Deku Hawk, not Deku, Endeavor Hawks and Best Genus, but you lost your radio, so like, I don't know. I don't know if they'll be able to find you soon enough. Khan, don't even try to do it. It's too dangerous. Oh, he's still going? What's he doing? I don't recommend it either. Who else came through? Who's this guy? What number are you? What number are you? I know exactly what you're trying to do, but you're not proficient enough yet. You've admitted yourself. Okay, first figure out how to handle two processes at once subconsciously. That's Endeavor, right? Once you've got that down, throw in a... Endeavor is like the perfect teacher for Deku, by the way. You haven't even tested my quirk yet. Okay, so this is one, this is um the Bakugo looking like and the other guy. I forgot their numbers though. Before, at two and three, I think. Before adding it to your parallel processes, you need to get a feel for how it works. So what can you do? It's a bit too late for that right now. I agree, Deku. Like, my guy, we're, we're, we're at a, a point in life where, like, there's no heroes. They're retiring. Uh, people that were, that were in jail are now out. And then I got this crazy, psychotic villain after me, bro. Like, I don't have the luxury to figure out how to do all of y'all shit, bro. It's, it's a, it's a learn-as-I-go type of thing, man. <laughs> like, I don't know. I hear you, but, like, it doesn't apply right now. It just doesn't apply. Once later, the guy tells me what I need to know, all for one, and shit rock it. Bro, look at Deku's face, bro. It's like, ah. Bro, he's so fire right now, man. He's just so fire. My dude is just leveling up, man, in life, and I love it. I guess I learned this one on the fly. Exactly, I just said that. Sorry to use your cape like this, Gran Torino. The third, Fajin. Ooh, bro, look at this. Look at this stance. I'm about to start drawing, bro. I'm about to start drawing again. I'm bringing speed drawings back to the channel. Who y'all want to see? This shot right here is just powerful. Like, if, I, if, I, if I'm looking up and I see this, it's not a bad way to go. <laughs> oh man. I wonder if that airwalk, look at this shot. Like I wonder if this airwalk has like a limit on how high she can go. Other than, you know, like the stratosphere and all that stuff where you start to lose, uh, get lightheaded. For her eye though, that's crazy, man. This, this, I just realized this whole scope that she has going on right now, this is fire. What zoom is this? Eight times? That high? I don't, I don't know anything about guns. 16? All right, boom, he makes an escape. And she immediately shoots this nigga, bro. At this point, that shot looks like it's lethal. There's no way. There's no way that was a rubber bullet, bro. Obviously, it was a decoy, though. What's he up to? Oh, he got he used the black whip. He used the black whip to move it. That's fire, bro. His control over that is just fire. You got some nerve, but she just swung that shit, bro. When this gets animated, that's gonna be fire, bro. Look at the velocity of the swing. The line works here, man. Okay, boom. Got the book bag. Got the mask. At this point, Deku got this whole costume is just done. Hide the smoke all you want, you won't get away. There's plenty of buildings. There's plenty of buildings for him to get away. But he's gonna take the fight to her, bro. Look at <laughs> my nigga. Too bad I'm not in the smoke. I told you. Airflix everywhere. He didn't even use Airflix though. That's what I love. This is the last page. Oh my god. I just realized this is the last page, man. Short and sweet. But it was fire. Too bad I'm not in the smoke. My guy. He went through the he literally jumped completely through this building. How tall is this building? This is multiple stories. And he just bulldozed his way through. That is so freaking fire. I wonder if he went like legs first, man. And I'm not in the smoke. Then he grabs her arm, bro. He just straight up captured her. Just straight up, that easily, that easily. And all I see from her are long range guns. So like, I don't know if she can produce short firearms because she's a sniper. She's more of a sniper than anything. She might be a combat specialist, bro. Cause I feel like, I feel like she's the type of hero. Cause she said, uh, no, Hawk said that she was his singer. So I'm assuming the, the society of heroes, you got your regular ones and then you got your SWAT team, you got your League of Assassins type of heroes. So she might actually be proficient at close quarters, uh, close quarters combat, can't talk. 
But this is fire, bro. This whole shot is fire, bro. Horikoshi. Oh. I can't believe that's the last page. I had, I had fun. I had fun with that. Right, so that's my reaction to My Hero Academia Chapter 312. I wrote some stuff down here that I want to talk about. It's like, mm, it's like 10 things that I want to go through. And then over here, I got the pages so I can talk about it and stuff like that. And uh, let's go ahead and get straight to it. Yeah, so first off, on page number four, I wanted to talk about like how scary all Might still is to this day, bro. Because at the top of the panel, you see him step down with force on that foot, and then you see his two assailants, the two people that tried to kill him, his attackers, who use Thunder Spirits, by the way, from freaking Attack on Titan, you see that he can still put the fear in their heart because they're backing up, one is stumbling over, and then you get this great shot on his face, and you just see the fear. He's like, the day anything happens to that kid is the day I die to resolve, bro. Like, I'm willing to die for my nigga Deku, bro. Like, y'all can't... Y'all would not stop me until I get to the point where I see him succeed. And I I, I love that, bro. Because, like, right here, the lining, the shading on his eyes, the line work, it's like the close-up. It's like this dude is admitting Emperor's Hockey, not Emperor's Hockey, Conqueror's Hockey from freaking uh, One Piece. And I still, it's so badass, bro. It's like fear in a nigga's heart. Primarily me. I'm that nigga. <laughs> Alright, so number two, the second thing I want to talk about is still on like page four or five. I mean, really, uh, really two and three and four, pages two through four. You get the sense that All Might is going to fight, right? He's ready to fight these two people attacking him. I want to know, like, how is he going to fight, right? Can he maintain, can he still maintain his buff form for like a couple of seconds just to knock these people out? Or is he going to use support items that he used back in what, the Silver Age when he was in America? Also, also, I just realized this because I'm looking at the page right now. Let me get it on the screen for y'all. But this is. Isn't this the same car that he had? Can I get another one? Isn't this the same car that he had in freaking um, the first My Hero movie when it was at I Island, Hercules? Isn't that the same car that old boy, old boy put him in? Or is this like a new whip? I don't know. I don't know. I just, I just think if it is the deja vu, the callback, but that's fire because like that's a support item. You see right here, he's actually carrying a suitcase. What's inside that suitcase, man? What's inside the suitcase? Is it's a suit. It's a suit that can probably, hopefully, maintain his, uh, his buff form. Like maybe, maybe it has like a time function on it. Hot to make, thank you, hot to make. Maybe it has like a time function on it where he can like slow down the molecules and and he can maintain that buff form for however long he needs. Cause he has like this little, this canister right here with an E on it. I guess for emergency. <laughs> this is another One Piece callback. It's the um, what's guy? What's Sanji? What's Sanji? Germa, Germa sixty six, bro, with the cans, B. My man's about to put on his <laughs> He's about to put he's about to put on a German 66 outfit, bro. That's fire. Again, number three, going back to page four, you get to see the shot of All Might, the close-up on his face, and him saying that he's ready to die and all that. It makes me wonder, like, is this how early, how early on will All Might die? Like we know we he, we know that he's about to die right now, but how soon? Like we'll, I doubt he loses to these two. But like, what if Shigaraki or what if um, I guess All for One make an early appearance and just take this dude out, lickety split, right here, right at the end of this fight? Because clearly he's gonna beat these two. But right at the end of the fight, Shigaraki pops up and and, and All for One, he's he's controlling the reins, right? What if what if they take out All um, All Might quickest day? What if they just take him out quickest day? Because last chapter I think they did a flashback of Sir Night Eye. So why don't they just take him out quickest day? And now Deku was just. Is, he can't go. He can't go back to that alleyway, right? That whole Batman shit that they had going on last chapter. He can't go back to that alleyway to talk to All Might. He has nobody to uh, talk to anymore. Uh, Grand Torino still in the hospital, still going through stuff. So like now, nah, this man is like really on his own, and the only mentors that he has less uh, that he has left are the quirk users, right? That's inside his body. And so like that just that just spurs his anger because like, right now you see a lot of anger in Deku. Like uh, like I said earlier, his whole mindset is being amplified. Now, he was always rushing to be a hero, but now he's just rushing to put an end to everything. And I like that. And, and like, what if, what if they just kill off All Might just like right now, look at these split, with nobody, no no warning, no foreshadowing or nothing besides this one picture right here. What if next week? Next week is the way he goes. And I kinda, I'm not gonna lie, I've been saying this since my reactions to My Hero last season, season four. I don't, I'm not really doing season five right now, but my, I said last year, last season, that I wanted him, I wanted him to die a gruesome death. I'm, I'm gonna be that dude. I'm gonna be that dude. I want that man to get disintegrated slowly. Torture. Torture. That's what I want. Let it play. I'm trying to have a good time. <laughs> Let me chill out. Let me chill out. I 
also real quick number four again real quick points I'm not really the one to do the super uh, and a lot of uh, <laughs> the chapters, I'm not trying to do all that, man. Um, I'm not gonna pretend to be somebody I'm smart. I'm, I'm a hype. I'm a, I'm a shonen whore, but I, I don't think too much about it. I just, I just, I just vibe. These two dudes, are they vigilante characters? Let me know in the comments. That's it. That's all I got. The whole purpose at this point is just to highlight my love for Lady Naga, bro. She's fire. She's fire. She's like a cross between Hawks and Hatsume. I like her cut. I like the, uh, I think the hair color's supposed to be pink and blue. I like that cotton candy shit. A nigga got a sweet tooth, all right? <laughs> I like her thick ass eyebrows. I think that's the main thing that draws me to her is her thick ass eyebrows. And then last chapter when she was talking to All For One and she had like this look of like disgust, like, bro, you realize, I, at one point I was trying to kill you, right? Like, I just, I just feel like she's, She's not with the bullshit, bruh. No nonsense. I like that. I like a little spiciness, you know, a little, little drama in my life, you know what I'm saying? Not too crazy when she in the trunk of my car, but enough to, you know, have a little fun, you know? What up? Y'all get it, y'all get it. All right, so on page 12.6, we see Deku and a third user, I forgot his name, arguing about his quirk, telling him, like, yo, it's too early to use my quirk. You haven't really practiced it or anything like that. And Deku's like, hey, bruh, right now it's sink or swim. I gotta use it, right? But... They, they zoom in on his legs. They, they argue about the quirk, but they never actually show off the quirk, right? And then all you see is them zooming in on his knees, and it looks like he's a build, he's like he's building this mass of like power, maybe energy or something like that. But again, but again, you never see it. You never see it. So I'm thinking, like, is the quirk actually invisible? Like, is this something where it like emits like energy blasts or something like that? Something akin to like a Neji palm strike or something like that? Or like, um, oh, actually, that would explain. It, it might actually be an energy blast because that would explain how he's able to go through that building uh, as 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 quickly and as powerfully as he did. Because that was a pretty high building, so I'm assuming that's, that's a lot of storage. So it might his, his that whole quirk. It might just be like um either an energy emitting blast or like maybe a boost or something. All right, so point seven on page thirteen, you get this zoom up of like Deku's face. Right, it's not as like scary i guess as uh as all my zoom in but this one you see the resolve in his eyes and stuff like that like my man's is focused he got all these people in his area he got his mentors i guess the other court users telling him like yo you might want to chill out in this little bit such a situation it's like he's hearing it but it's going in one ear and out the other because like right now he is just so focused on his task at hand which is finding all for one and sugar rock he even says once lady Nagant, oh i said the guy once lady Nagant tells me what i need to know all for one and sugar rocky are next like my man is moving with a purpose he is he is finding his purpose in life and like right now you cannot derail him and i like it i like these faces bro it speaks wonders to me because it makes it because in the past right right now my hero is like super dark right now and in the past it hasn't been dark prior to my villain academia so seeing that these seeing deku's and all my face right now it tells me that they're like fed up with villains bro like they are sick of their shit and right now Murking everybody. I'm ready to kill. I'm ready to kill. A couple chapters ago, I was I was fighting the idea because I wanted to save. But like, if push comes to sub, push comes to shove, I ain't ready to kill. We know All Might's ready to kill. He almost killed All for One the first time. Now Deku, it seems like Deku's heading down that route. It seems like he's they're both they're both basically running running down this abysmal path versus walking down that route. They're running towards killing these niggas, and I'm all for it. <laughs> Yo, so I lied. I got 11 points now because <sighs> Lady Nagant. Mm. All right, boom, point nine, page 15. You see Deku using multiple quirks to get the one up on Lady Nagant, and I like that, bro. It's showing that Deku's coming into his own as a hero. He's no longer just trying to punch people. He's no longer just trying to kick people. Like, he's taking all of these, all these quirks and making added to his versatility as a hero, and he's becoming his own, because in this whole, this whole little scuffle, not at, at one point did he not use, I can't talk. At one point, he never used <laughs> All Might's abilities, bro. He never smashed, he never did none of that stuff, bro. Like, He's been fighting as his own hero, as his own hero here. I cannot talk. This this is the worst. This is the worst I've talked in this whole video. But <laughs> at this point, at this point, he's really coming into his own, right? He's becoming a boss, the number one hero, man. And this, they said that this is like the last arc, the last saga. And I'm okay with this, bro, because this is show. This is literally showing us how he's becoming the best hero, especially after, especially if this ends with him killing or you know whatever to Shigaraki and all for one. Who who's next? At this point, everybody is. 
minuscule. Maybe maybe overall makes a comeback because he's traveling with Lady uh, Lady Nagant. But if they can take out Sugar Rocky and off of one, everybody else is just clean up duty, you know? Point 10, this is really just a question for y'all. Do you think uh, Deku's gonna let Lady in the gang? Cause I'm assuming they're gonna have a conversation. She doesn't really seem like a bad guy. She's more, she's an assassin. Like I said in my reaction, I think her, Hawks, they're all just as part of the secret SWAT team of heroes. Like you think um, he can literally talk her down? Not maybe get her to come over to his side, but like just have a conversation with him. And do you think Deku is gonna let her know like, yo, having multiple quirks actually leads you to your death a lot quicker. Like you think he'll say that? And then also, speaking to the fact that of multiple quirks, this whole time, Deku's been using multiple quirks. I was wondering, like, how he was gonna do this in the past. Like, was he gonna wear a whole bunch of support gear? Because then they would mirror All Might, because All Might was using support items at one point, right? I was wondering, when he goes his vigilante route, if he was gonna use a whole bunch of support gear to, like, hide the fact that he has multiple quirks, right? Like, wear a machine where he presses a button, and then he does this whole smoke screen shit, and it makes it look like it's coming from that machine. Because I thought that would be the best way to hide it, just to use fake support items. But nah, my man's is just, he just out and about with it so like how's this going to work down the line in the future right will people question that will they accept that can they lie about it and just say quirk evolves so technically speaking quirks do evolve we saw with toga we saw with sugar rocky and and now we're just saying like yo it's quirks evolving that's how he got here like i wonder how they're going to go about this also i just thought about this all might like every that who's getting all his quirks from different people like who did all might get his strength from because he was quirkless too right so like which one of these guys has super strength So last point, after doing some slight research, I found out that the third user's quirk is actually called Fajin. I thought I thought that was his name. That's so that's on me. That's my fault. But it's called Fajin. I looked it up. Basically, it says it's a quirk that allows the user to build up kinetic energy and use that energy to release an explosive burst of speed and power, which is actually insane because it allows Deku to use his 100% at an earlier state right now. Right now, I think he can use 35 comfortably and he can push up to 45% before like it starts to strain him. But like that means at, at 35 percent he can hit you with 100 percent of uh of um all might strength of one for all he can hit you with 100 percent of one for all with this kinetic energy like he's broken deku was broken at this point bro that explains oh my god i just realized that explains how uh muscular how he was able to take out muscular jailbreak whatever you want to call him and one hit he uses fajin in addition to the 45 percent or maybe the 35 percent whatever so this man can literally go 100 percent Plus, like he can do 100% plus, ultra. <laughs> Nigga, what my laugh at, B? It's corny, but it was funny. It was funny, whatever. All right, so that's pretty much my reaction, my review to My Hero Academia chapter 313. I think I said 312 earlier. That's my fault, that's on me. Chapter 313, it was fire, bro. This whole thing was fire. I'm not gonna hold y'all up any longer than what I've already done. So with that being said, make sure you like, share, subscribe, and new. Check out chapter more reviews, speed jump, all that stuff on there. You know, you fucking with the kid, like my thought process, my prediction, my predictions, my reaction, my editing, whatever the case may be. Hit that subscribe button, hit that bell icon, hit it twice, all notifications, you don't find out just new. My name's Anansi, you can come to the kickback and I see what I see.